All right, folks, we're going to do one more Cinebench. Uh, this is one I should have did before. And I uh, just did a bunch of user benchmark videos. Um, really, we were testing out the Skype Ninja to see how well it would handle some overclocking. So, of course, I did the uh, 51 multiplier across all cores. Then I came in, I did the first and second with uh, 52. Then I went and did all 52, uh, as well as adjust PL1 and PL2. So in this Cinebench benchmark, we're going to see if we can beat uh, 5159. I'm not even sure that's my highest. Um, I thought I hit 5200, but we'll say that that's my highest. So let's go for it. Now, it does look like the uh, the Skype Ninja can handle some uh, overclocking, at least in these these benchmarks. It does get a little warm. gets up there in the 80s as far as Celsius goes. Uh, ideally, it would stay cooler, but, uh, you know, as long as it's not hitting 100, I think I'm happy. And considering it's $59 versus um, the Noctua that I have that is comparative to it was... Uh, I want to say 79 or 89. And now the Noctua probably does a slightly better job. But uh, this one's this one's holding its own, so. Alright, who's who's expecting it to be higher out there? I actually seem pretty fast. Boom. 5227. So that's a new high. New high, folks. Now, how does that compare against what other people have on here for uh, Cinebench? I don't know, but because uh, I don't have time to look other people's stuff up. But there you go. That's what it is with the 5.2 gigahertz. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe, and please watch a lot more of my videos. Thank you.